Hello everyone, Joseph Dunphy here, and this is your weekly Grass Tin Grazing Management Update on the Dairy Itch. Pasture based figures for the week, the average farm cover, 602 kilos dry matter per hectare, cover per livestock unit, 246 kilos dry matter per livestock unit, and growth for the last seven days of 14 kilos of dry matter per hectare. Dry matter is recorded, 11% in Moore Park County Cork, 15% in Oak Park County Carlow, and 14.5% in Nathan Rye County Galway. The predicted grass growth, rainfall and soil temperatures for the coming seven days. Grass growth predictions have returned to normal at between 7 and 8 kilos of dry matter per hectare for the coming week. Soil temperatures have dropped back to between 6 and 7 degrees Celsius. And again, there is roughly between 25 and 35 millimetres of rain expected for the vast majority of the country over the coming seven days. The Grass 10 team would like to thank the most grass growth prediction model team in Chagasmore Park for their contribution to the podcast in 2024. And the grass growth predictions will return to the podcast in early 2025. Your tips for the week. The average farm cover has dropped to 602 kilos of dry matter per hectare from Pasture Base Ireland. This is significantly below the target average farm cover. So grazing must cease on any farms over two livestock units per hectare. Extending the grazing season on dry stock farms and lower stock dairy farms under 2.0 livestock units per hectare is acceptable as long as average farm cover does not go below 600 kilos of dry matter per hectare. The last average farm cover of the year should be completed on pasture base next week, the first week of December. On dairy farms where spring grass supply is a priority, farmers should aim to have at least an average farm cover of greater than 700 kilos of dry matter per hectare on the first week of December. The Grass 10 team and Pasture Base Ireland will host our annual live webinar on Tuesday the 10th of December at 7pm on Zoom. 2024 has been a difficult year for grazing management and utilisation and it's important to review your grazing year through your Pasture Base reports. So join the Grass 10 team and the Pasture Base team on the night to review the national pasture growth figures in a challenging 2024 for Irish farms. We'll also discuss using the many Pasture Base Ireland reports to improve your pasture performance and tips to set your farm up for success with pasture production and utilisation in 2025. Dairy farmer Enda Armstrong from County Galway will review his 2024 grazing performance with us and identify grazing management practices to improve in 2025. And for more information and to register, click on the link in this week's Grass 10 newsletter. Now is a great time to assess some of the grazing infrastructure on your farm and first up for inspection are your farm roadways. Did some of your farm roadways deteriorate throughout the year due to insufficient camber to move rainwater away? Or are your roadways the correct size for your herd? Or are your roadways complying with the new nitrates requirements? See the table in this week's Grass 10 newsletter on roadway requirements and click the link to view the Dairy Infrastructure Workbook from Chagask with tips on designing and improving farm roadways. This week's Grass 10 feature farmer is Michael Carroll from Brewery, County Limerick. Michael's average farm cover is 727 kilos of dry matter per hectare. He recorded a growth rate since his last walk of 20 kilos of dry matter per hectare and he has 13.6 tonnes of dry matter growing year to date. On the grazing management side, he finished grazing on the 18th of November. The last paddock grazed was a multi-species sward and his target average farm cover on the first week of December is 775 kilos of dry matter per hectare. On the soil fertility side, he spread muriate of potash, which is 0050, at one bag to the bay acre on the out farms to improve soil K levels. A lot of silage comes off this out farm. He receded the paddock on the 23rd of August. It has been grazed once since in late October and the clover content is good and better than expected on this paddock. If you would like to hear more from the Grass 10 team, subscribe to the weekly Grass 10 newsletter, which is available on the Grass 10 page on the Chagas Public website. And the link to the newsletter is also available in the description of this podcast. We'd like to thank the sponsors of the Grass 10 campaign, AIB, Grassland Agro, Department of Agriculture, FBD and the Farmer's Journal. This has been your Grass 10 update and I'll talk to you all next week.